My name is E.T. Brown. I am a manager of creative services at CSAC. I'm basically the, the rock pop writer rep here in Nashville. My day is completely driven by who's calling and emailing and needing help with a wide range of various things. Anything from administrative help as far as like, hey, I lost my password and need to reset it, or yeah. hey, I, I've moved and I can't figure out how to change my address, or hey, I messed up this song registration, can you help me fix it? Um, you know, those sorts of you know, brick and mortar type things to the more creative things, which are obviously a lot more fun, um, that yeah. range from Hey, I just kind of, I just made this demo. Can you give me some feedback? Let me know if this song sucks or not. Or uh, hey, I'm looking to you know maybe meet some new people. Do you have some writers that you think I may be a good fit for for co-writing uh, to connect them with? Or hey, I'm thinking about pursuing a publishing deal. Can we talk about how I like what I should be doing and what yeah. strategies? You know, I think yes. Just starting up, it's totally um, you know a good idea to. I mean, obviously you need to be with a PRO. Um, but I just recommend anywhere, not just PROs, but but anywhere you're looking to. I mean, talk, talk to somebody before you sign a contract somewhere, just yeah. establish a relationship and know what the, you have to make real expectations as yeah. far as what this is going to be and what it can do for you. Because um, if you just have an understanding it, of what's what's going on. Yeah, well that goes back to, to like we were talking about before, striking that balance between working and getting, you know, doing, doing the, the work and meeting the people and building that network and having the art, you know, yeah. having having the goods. Well, I just want to build a team so they all do it and I just make the music. Like the, those days are yeah. gone, man. Yeah. You, you you have to you have to do more. I know too many people who have signed deals with uh, you know, big shiny names on the building and then got put on a shelf because they didn't actually have a game plan. They were just so excited to be with legendary company XYZ. Yeah. That you know, they didn't think through that, oh, but yeah, you also had a deal from a smaller, lesser known place, but there was somebody there who was chomping at the bit to get yeah, your stuff out there yeah. and work on it, and that really might have been a better, you know, route to take. The first thing that comes to mind uh, that really makes me perk up when I, when I see somebody who I think is special is um, there's, a, there's a certain, um, level of being genuine to them gotcha. but there's something that really stands out as far as like oh you're you and there's not another you okay you know because um, yeah. I, I feel like especially with the the especially the rate that trends change these days it's kind of easy to spot the ones who are just kind of following what they think they should be doing building fan bases too I see more and more the the more engaged fan bases are the ones that feel like they've discovered something you yeah know, like a gem okay. in the in the in the rough you know how do you think that an artist knows when they're doing something unique I don't know there's just a a feeling of of pride, I think, that you get when you land on a sound or or a look or just an overall vibe that that if you haven't experienced that before, it's exciting.